start recording. But yes, hello everybody. Welcome back in. It is absolutely roasting over in England at the moment. It's like, I don't even know what, it's like 20 degrees, but it's still pretty warm. At least that's what my, one of the things on my um, task bar thing uh, says. But hello, welcome on in, welcome on in. Uh, so, I'm going to talk about this in a minute. But first, um, let's talk Ace and because that's what we're doing. So, so yeah, this is probably going to be a long stream and my dad's farming. I just wanted money. Anyways, let's talk eight to twenty first before we get into like any stories. And I should close my music up because we won't be needing it. So, so let's talk Ace Attorney first before anything else. So today we are doing the last case from the first Ace Attorney game, which is called rise from the ashes i believe i think it is i think it's called the rise from the ashes it's a pretty like different name system from what we used to because like every other um case has been like turn about something the last case that we did last week was turn about goodbyes so yeah this is a different case it i and i'm not familiar with this case because just because it wasn't in the anime because um a lot of the characters in this case, such as I think Emma Sky, like have story I think have storylines that leak over into or are like are more expanded upon in Apollo Justice in the Apollo Justice games. And um the anime was only like for the original three, original three Ace Attorney games, which you know, the Phoenix right? Ace Attorney games, not nothing to do with Apollo Justice. So they didn't include this case. So they only included like the first four cases from the first game in the anime. So that's why I'm not familiar with this. And this is probably going to be a slightly longer stream than normal. Like, um, like you know, last stream was like five and a half hours, and so this pro this game this stream I'm probably going to be six hours so yeah so yeah long it's gonna be a long stream just because i'm not familiar with this case i and i think i'm only with like the new characters like the defendants and stuff like that i'm only familiar with one new character from this case and that is emma sky i believe i believe it's emma sky that's in this case anyways is it rise from the ashes yeah rise from the ashes so yeah um but yeah disney was good um i think i might talk about more stories on uh sunday i still need to upload a ton of like photos from disney um but yeah i kind of want to um yeah disney was good it was great it was great just fucking exhausted from all the walking around but yeah, i kind of want to get into this case right now um and then i can like talk more about the case about um disney even on sunday so i don't know why i'm streaming sunday actually it might be another heart in the house stream maybe it might be another heart in the house stream maybe but yeah anyways let's get to um Ace Attorney. So, episode 5, Rise from the Ashes, day 1, investigation. As you can see, we finished at like 2 a.m. Uh, last stream. So, yeah. This is a pretty different one. No, it's not. I don't know. 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 I
I think it was in, in the first two cases we kind of knew kind of who it was. And this one kind of didn't know the part of the You probably can't hear me too well because of the audio, which is like the representative of the um, police department. I can't, I don't know this character's name. Like, I recognise her, I just don't remember her name. It's been two months since my left office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but no talk. That is, until the day that girl showed up. February 22nd, 10.02am, right and call law offices. Oh yeah, so it was turned about goodbyes, the last one. Why do I come to come here to, this, to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally. Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Also, oh, it's her sister's trial. I think this is Emma Sky. Um, who are you? It's a matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense attorney, Mia Faye. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Faye, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Faye no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix, right? A defensive attorney. Right, right. Wait, you're the Phoenix, right? The Phoenix, right, from the Edgeworth murder case? Um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a really thing. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix, right? Right? The undefeated defense attorney. Look, I'm not excited in any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please. I'm out of time. But, please, you have to help. It's my sister. <laughs> you don't know, it's sitting there and it's really emotional, like, look at this already. Fuck's sake. Maya, could it be? Okay, I'll hang you up. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. Yeah, it is Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Let's talk to Emma. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of a uh, jumpy. Or maybe just young. <laughs> young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known, at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age, no less. Great, another mutual professional training. So what's this about this? You said the trial's tomorrow. My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who tried to do it. She didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right, I suppose I will. I, I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but that's interesting. How does she know Mia? Yeah, how does she know Mia? Because Mia's been dead for... I want to say in Ace of Tony times, like... I'm, Maybe just over a year she would have been dead? So you want to be a scientific investigator when you got then? Excuse me? I'm not a child I have, you know. Still, it's good to have a go. I'll be a very unusual one. I'll believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't follow her for a lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> if this case is handled scientifically, I'll... I'm sure my sister's name will be Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method, method of case investigation. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I Mia ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia's a woman. Now that you mentioned it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it is nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually, when she gets like like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? I got in a car accident when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. 
Okay, that's literally just how I put it. So he's back. I'm gonna examine the office again. Let's see what it'll say. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel for the way. I'm gonna find the second branch outside the city. Because the bow I was standing right at me. Miss Plant, Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. There's a post of the steel samurai on the wall. Maya stuck it up here on the on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. I need some time to get strange looks from the fire so. <laughs> but also you can't just take it down not take it you can't just take it down, you know. Here's this. I say here even less now that I've stopped taking cases. I need to at least dust it off once in a while. He's got looking legal books standing as a middle of a roll and not me. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt too. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the detention centre. February 22nd, detention centre. This is his room. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with her. She's got, she got quiet all of a sudden. So God, if I told you I didn't want to visit her. Sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise her? Understood. What was that all about? Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I don't want to come here either, okay? But if you're on you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Oh, okay, she's the chief prosecutor. Because I think I think in the anime they retconned Lana's role and like kind of change it for another person. Like there's another chief prosecutor. Wait, let me see. Uh, let me see. Chief prosecutor, because I know I think chief prosecutor is mentioned in the anime. Okay, it just shows the chief prosecutors in the games. It just shows the chief prosecutors in the games. But yeah, um, I know the chief prosecutor is mentioned in the anime. I just don't think... I just don't think they're just not shown. Two sisters, one a liar. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Maya and Mia. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Let's talk to Martelana. There's something you should know from the start. Which is, the suspect in this case has confessed to a crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect, the suspect is me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witnesses the suspect Always clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, but that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's, uh, prosecutor's office car in your subordinate's car trunk. Classic. I bet it was a subordinate. I was arrested on the spot. Caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. So who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective. Death was due to a loss of blood. Who stabbed once in the stomach? By you. Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means the police department will consider it. A matter of pride to have me found guilty. Don't use any means at their disposal, disposal to do so. So I guess Gumshoe won't be here on good terms with us unless Gumshoe is the victim here. Which I doubt it. I don't think it is. I don't think he is, but you know. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. So you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible 
people I've seen every try handled by the prosecutors in this district. In this district. Make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job of managing every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in the shop. That's an awfully large shop. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize, recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? Not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class Hermia, wasn't she? Um, you went to school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, didn't she? Didn't she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has a he has very little in common here. Hey, it was in law school. I was in my third year and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different how? Different? She's strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That is probably why she was attracted to me. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted. Lana was told to her class at school. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was the best there. There was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in, a, in school, by, in school too, by the way. Is it a little different when... It sounds a bit different when I says it. Well, Mr. Wright, excuse me. I should completely see I am missing my girl. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But Lana, why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. I, I hate you, Lana. Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here has ended. The rest? I'll leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as a defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to a crime, yes, but something doesn't fit. It's a look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. Especially after, like, two months. Like, the second... <laughs> this is, like, the second case in a row where we've had to defend a prosecutor. She's changed a lot. She's been so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. So I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she, or maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking and the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. You know what, let's move to the tension center and just examine the place. Spot for the camera. He's got my sister visit to He's probably the fifth of the frigid Miss Lana. I'm feeling a bit chilly myself. Okay, that's like it. Very much. Okay, let's go to the underground parking lot. February 22nd, prosecutor's office. Underground parking lot. This feels familiar. This parking lot feels familiar. So this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office. Hey everyone, keep it a good work. Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know what I am supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying to not stand out too much, Jesse. Hey there! You expecting to go and notice their partner? Partner? Oh, it's this guy! It's the cowboy guy! What, what do we have here? It looks like a bambina got loose from the ranch and it's up to no good. Folks now learn to keep some doggies tied down, partner. Mr. Marshall? Marshall? Looks like more like a sheriff to me. Okay, here, Bambina, I know how you feel. But this is my gang's full strike. See? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. And he's fixing to mess with what's ours. You have a great partner. 
know what dreams the cacti in the desert dream what's he what's this guy talking about yeah what's he talking about you had a long call now have a chance bambina what was that uh hombre a friend of yours a uh, kind of soft yeah he's a detective he thinks he's a sheriff from the wild west it seems there's a dropped wallet here what's this a wallet um, excuse me officer hey what are you doing mr right what am i doing i just found this wallet so i'm handing it over to the police i don't believe it this is real basic and the now crime scene is evidence let's be scientific about it please just put it in your pocket how is that scientific it sounds like theft to me well i hastily stuffed it in your pocket i've got to do it already and at my tender age yeah, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkling down until she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now, look at the court record. Yeah, yeah, I know, we know how to do this. You have to be sure to examine elements carefully on the other side. On the other side, somebody from every angle. Ooh. Ooh. This is new. This is a new feature. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh look, I think there might be a clue there. Let's check it out. We'll press up enter. Okay. No. Oh, this is a This is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID ID number 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it. I don't know why this feature was added in the fifth trial of the first game the last trial of the first game now and not just the first trial of the second game no not the first trial the first case of the game goodman's id i did see what record let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence i guess i've got to be on my toes from that one okay let's go to the court record then Ooh, Ooh this is fun fucking fancy Fucking fancy. Oh my oh. And name and ID number I've written there. Such a Bruce Goodman. ID number five eight four two one eight nine. I wonder why they only use numbers for an ID. For an ID. What else would they use? Not as silly. They recently have a in the first place. True. Such a Bruce Goodman. ID <laughs> Yabba Dab. See? Wouldn't that be better? Yabba Dab. Well, it does have a certain ring to it. I got to my point. <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse her. That's it. We'll check that. I'll we'll check the back. That shit. That's probably just generic police stuff. Though. We can't examine our. We can't examine our attorney's badge. Just look at it. Look at this thing. So this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I always thought it had a safety thing. Each badge has a number card into it. That way you can tell which attorney it belongs to. I mean, you couldn't lend your badge to anyone. No, I'd be found out right away. But that's not fun. This is this is so silly. This is so silly. Look at this. <laughs> this is so silly. Okay. Let's go back to examine the crime scene. Door. Look, a door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. Let's see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Okay, we have this door open here. This is where the cars leave the lock. They're only going to make it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly exit. Okay, it's both kind of like, kind of a dual purpose. Aha, the fairy of Lurk Well, it. What earth? I'm glad to write this down. Ah, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Jeremy you know, was Mr. Relative Relativity. Jeremy you know, was he British? Mr. Relativity, are you sure that was his name? She's talking about the theory of relativity, which was proposed by... Was it proposed by Einstein? Hello, Ace. Hello, welcome on in. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good today. How are you doing today, Ace? How are you doing today? Aha, a ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Home from Disney? Home from Disney. Yeah, I went to Disney for like four days, which is why I haven't been streaming for the past four days. Ooh, how was it? It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. 
very exhausting though from just walking around like everywhere pretty much but yeah it was pretty fun pretty fun i'll probably talk more talking about it more in like another stream because this case is going to take me fucking ages and i don't want to spend a lot of time just talking so yeah I'll probably talk about it maybe in the discord or in another stream but yeah but it was fun disney was fun scientific huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Right? It's all seems so horribly familiar somehow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, yeah, phone, let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears, not my ears. Maybe it's due to the barometric metric pressure. What is she talking about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. This water is in our way. Got, it's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know. This wall is merely a facade. Hiding the truth. This is no one but water tank. I don't see how it makes any difference either way. Yeah, I don't see the difference. Why it needs to be a difference, Emma, but whatever. <laughs> an oil drum? An, an oil drum. <laughs> Looks like it filled, it's filled with water. It's heavy, I can't even put it. The drum over here is outside. Wait, I know. I'll hide it in here and do a stake out. I think you'll probably just get arrested. In fact, you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. Well, I'm not suspicious. But hiding in the drum will make you look suspicious, Emma. Look, a stylish glass wall room. Very nice. You can, you can see the whole parking lot from in there. Is that security? Perhaps it's coming. Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check out later. Um, I hate to break it to you. But then it's probably just a security guard office. You know, I scored and I set I scored and I saw in on my science test science test the other day. Emma Science has nothing to do with identifying whether something that's clearly labeled security. Whether it's something it's something clearly labeled security is a cafe or a security guard's office. Okay. I don't think we have anything to examine further on in this part. Nope. So just slide it all over. Slide it on over. Well, no attention waste. Let's get hunting for clues. I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you've got no attention of going home quietly. What the hell, this guy? <laughs> the sheriff. Like I said before, this is our cut. This here is Arkham. You best be most of them. Unless you're fixing to fight the bullet. Gas, Kerry. Could you just tell me one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well, the little filly has got good nose on her. Don't tell me right side I must stand with a body in a side away. Please. No problem, partner. Not time for our videos, anyways. You just have to assume up on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. I just find you a Cervesa, you like. What does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? That's up. Look up the little saloon to better. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here or you like. Just keep your paws on that then. Right, great. Great, maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me, who are you two are, sir? Buzz? Who the bloody hell is this? I said, you're gonna be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Yes? Some pretty goodness coming at you. Uh, thanks, interesting way of doing business. The series of fun to anyone who works, especially if I supply. Are you officers? Are, are you officers? Um, no, but you... You don't exactly look like you look like the type to have clearance. There's hardly a way to greet someone. It makes my days as the cough-up queen are over. Cough-up? Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm very good at this case, you see. Give me just a burden to my eyes, you might say. Oh, this is a witness. Yes, I'll sort of secrets secrets 
Damn me. You are slow one, aren't you? I'm afraid to murder. Just let me know that that's not protective. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. I she did it. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, powerful queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forget it, bro. Don't you should go forget it. Before you know it, I'll have you printing up my heels. Yes, ma'am. Yep, she means it. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is happening. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know it. You should know them. Yep, she probably did it. You should, you should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. inequity. Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the names of innocents. Angel, chill. Please, just chill. And just to say they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They won an award for King of Prosecutors. Well, fast. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutors convention yesterday? I was almost compelled to lace our lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the coffee queen. Ew! Those heroes are heroes of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Looks like he devours the evilest lunches of them of all. Really? Really what? Well, I'm totally confused. <laughs> One thing's clear, this lunch lady has a fingerprint against prosecutors. So what exactly was it that you witnessed the star? It's a fascinating spectacle to be sure. Now you know you I know what they say when they talk about a woman. See Lana Sky wield that knife so and that's flashed in anger, bringing him to Saturn. So is it true? You mean the, you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly caught still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm. Of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many months of sins of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels like. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Um, let me ask you a bit about yourself, Mr. I come here every day to sell lunches. I brought only the freshest and best from Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are here. Why not make the lunches here rather than a royal? Did you say something? No. Only two connoisseurs can understand. I think you can only tell someone who's tried General Sal's <laughs> General Sal's tri 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 beat. Trial by <laughs> trial by lunch set. I never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a trial by its flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there. The glass wall booth. I sell my lunches, and since I'm here, anyways, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyways, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So to say to keep the analyze that it's available so far, you can start a lunch and general military motive to come here. It's for that analysis, not... I mean, kind of. That basically sums up the entire thing. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Mr. Is that some hostility? Hostility? Ha, perhaps. Prosecutors are all right, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. Let's be sure I'll cause a few points in the state of the speaker of course. I mean now you're talking to Papa Queen. I think she was just a month then, but now I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure either. I've got this card. Lunch time vendors only accept cards. Ca only accepts cash, no cards. This is not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. 
and you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? That's like showing a fine, a fine honey time to just something. I don't always feel like I'm being mocked. <laughs> okay, I guess I can examine more, I guess. No, 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 no. Can we not go? We cannot, we can't move faster. Oh, wait, we can move to high prosecutor's office, so. Three times again, high prosecutor's office. We're in 12 or 2. This is Edward's office. This is Edward's office. I know it's, a st it's still somewhere in the back, and I know I just learned and I know that he used to love. And this will probably you will get more information of why of like him loving the steel samurai like in a later case and then that's um you can't see it you can't see it because my face cam but behind my face cam here you can kind of see it at, like the bottom of my face cam but here you can see that's that's um his like original his first like suit i guess this is kind of one that just screams i can do the job Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. And it looks kind of broken at the top here. Maybe there's supposed to be like that. Who's this office? They must be a real structure. Phoenix, right? You never tire of finding into other people's business, do you? A voice. Edward! <laughs> Long time you've not seen Edward. Ah, uh, Mr. Edward. You know him from somewhere? Of course, I'm his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once, and right, her sister is she prosecutor after all. Well, what point to it? I want you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up chick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, did, did I? No. It's just Mr. Right here. Hey, don't blame me. We just tried to. You were just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? I thought you was found in this nasty bright red sports kind of parking lot. That would be my car. <laughs> of course it was Edgeworth's car. Of course it was Edgeworth's car. What of it? Wouldn't you know if a buddy. Wouldn't you know if a buddy was found in your car though? What? You took your car? Certainly can scream. Okay, so the body was found in your car. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, did you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year and all that. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who was stabbed in. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean, wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Yeah, you met! Yes, sir, I'm a scout, yeah. It's not to meet you then. No, that didn't sound false at all. And now I remember, you really well. I'll admit, if it was a surprise for me to, to me my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. I've been forced to prove my superiors. No. I can understand. Wait, what did you say? Last guy is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial. You, Mr. Edgeworth. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Oh yeah, I said the last case. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when you when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. I see my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. Don't they all do illegal searches though because or something along those lines because attorneys can't be investigating crime scenes or something like that. They literally said it at like, the start of this case. Oh, but that's so you say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. I think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield, there's got to be a star behind that one. Let's examine his um, office all first before we ask about Lana's guy. I like this, it's quite tidy as one might expect. Why nice desk? Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's fun to laugh and see my own reflection. Strange. Why don't I just pitch the attention to you? Maybe I'll take that 
name black is a stupid name. Down, he'll see you. He would. He would. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right from the center. No kidding. Hey, it's a car. Back from the dead. Wendy. Wendy. I've heard that name from someone before. Wendy or bad. And besides, it. I tried to steal a samurai. Well, I want one. Huh? There's something right on the bottom of his foot. It's really a rock and a hard place. Wendy. So Wendy got the got all this for him. Wendy, is she in the of fiance? Wendy old bag, no. She's she's just absolutely infatuated with him and he, he is not interested at all. I don't think so. Ooh, cute. What a pretty tea set. I got a more for instant tea bags myself. Amazing, the draw below is filled with packets of tea. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavour. Look at this final blend. What an exqui exquisitely splendid concoction. So many big words in this game. <laughs> There's such a thing as taking the hobby too far. Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, these are all case files? It's not up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I imagine it wasn't good advice. <laughs> they must have someone get them for a gum shoe. Strange. Why don't I just get to get that for too? I must see these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You didn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets on that ladder. I guess that. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too over my chest, but it looks like blue is in a bit of a tight spot. My knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? The swords is a mountain. Nice. The swords have really sharp edges. And check out the pawn. He says it's kind of spiky. I don't know what you There's such a mustache of an added avid chest player. But some of the right edges surrounded the pawn spike here. Nice, nothing. <laughs> Jeez. I'm wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Not prosecutors. Oh, what's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. Ah, okay. King of Prosecutors? It's great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor here. What? So? So, that K, that's. K stands for King. Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. You got prosecutors. I don't like complaining a month, only back. You got prosecutors, so get it. So, court record. You can examine this book. So, it's the king of prosecutors, shield, huh? Hold on, Andrew. You must be proud to be the king of prosecutors. Congratulations, king of prosecutors. Please, stop saying that. That still doesn't explain what they Why is the tip of the shield broken off? Yeah, why is that broken off? I like to said that. Wait, 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 wait. We can examine! I love this new examination feature. Ooh. Check it out, there's a metal plate here. Hmm. Look at the names of all the previous recipients are on it. Wow, well, one guy's listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. I guess he must be a foreigner. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. For whatever reason, Ronnie so must have been an amazing prosecutor. I to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. She says that his name does have kind of a ring to it. Anything else we can examine? These are such like. kind of simple 3D models, like there's not a lot of shade into it. Like, this is what I expect to see in like the fin be like the finished kind of a fit not a finished products but like finished products with all the shading in a 3d like program and i kind of like it i kind of like the more like kind of unfinished or finished look if that makes any sense okay examination more examination time oh wow this jacket is even nicer than his usual ones this was his lucky child jacket lucky jacket right i've never seen one of those there is a story behind what is in the frame. There is. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Yeah, there's a story about that, by the way. And. <laughs> and that would be a layer case. Wow! Oh, like, I'm not going to find it in a layer case. What of you? It must be nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, we need to jump out this window. The time once certain impact will be. Got it. Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's not easy to know. I guess so. 
Okay, let's ask him about Lion Sky. Chief Prosecutor Sky? Well, yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since, since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? Is that just your knife was the murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox of in the trunk of my car. So it's kind of slightly spontaneous. I don't really know. I don't know when you said I just two box. This is a victim blood of the victim's blood, no prints. So it might be someone who usually wears gloves. Um, Edra? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. Nick. You, your last trial was literally Edra being put on, being the suspect for murder. Oh. Ha no, it wasn't Hammond. That was still that was a samurai case. He was the murder victim. Wait, oh yeah, it was Hammond. It was Hammond. I was thinking of, no, of the actor guy. Not <laughs> Hammond is the attorney, isn't it? It was strange instead of human, right? Uh, oh, let's present this. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's check it. Let's present it. So, yeah, just, I was wondering about. This. Mr. Wright, oh, what? Are you sure you should be showing up to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, we will take it for sure, won't we? I should be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth, but then my sister would be found guilty. If he says anything, I'm going to start getting it. Okay, let's call record. I really like this. I really like this. I really like this. Okay, not examine the blood. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or I just caught himself killing an apple. What's everyone doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends with an apple. Edgeworth, in the wild, he might be killing a few There is more like an I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there's a scary thought. Yeah, I don't think Edgeworth would be an outdoorsy kind of guy. Oh wait, we can zoom in, can't we? Let's zoom in. Zoom. Zoom out. Wait. Zoom. Okay, I think that's all we can get from here. So let's go back to the underground parking lot. Should we present the murder weapon? Could you take a look at this? You, yes. you said you wanted some hot tea, right? Um, no, but thanks, you didn't even look at me. You must have to brew the leaves a long time to get the rich flavour like this. We pre infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I know it's so that's a secret to their aroma. Aroma exquisite. Yeah, I think that's more than a wasted time. Yeah. And what if we present this, King of Prosecutors? Uh... Oh, she just says the same thing. Okay. Okay. So, we can't examine the rest of the currency that kind of wanted to. So, we've just been so happy. Let's do Ryan Co. Um, I don't think I need to do right, right, go, so let's attention. No. There must be more to do here. There must be. Must be. Uh, should we talk to him about murder weapon? It's against my policy to discuss evidence in defense. Especially with you. He doesn't like you much, does he, or Mr. Wright? Now, if Edra says never personal, it's all about winning tomorrow. Send it. So basically, this says you were the best of the best last year, huh? 
You take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? That's a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? What's that? I have to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes. Right next to the police station that time. You've been, you've been there, haven't you? But it takes a couple shoe works. Yeah. And I'll show you something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe. We should ask him more about it yesterday. Ooh. Good talk. Day of the crime. Could you tell him more about yesterday? The day of the murder? Yes. Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Looking down the police department, we saw and filed all the other evidence to solve cases. We call it evidence transfer. Weapon your hands of old cases in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. It's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers in the city. That's when you got that shield, the shield right. I left the police department yesterday afternoon. I got here at 5.12. So I got here three minutes before the... Um... Happened. That's very precise. I feel like myself and Mr. Drop the private dance house on our position, position, Mr. Wright. No, I place little things in every. Every entrance is solid evidence. I did parking stuff added to the court record. This is the parking stuff from the other valley wall. I went to place around at 5 15. So it might have happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate if it. If, 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 if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um, who's this? Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth um, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What, did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't know the way this conversation is going to go. Uh, Sky, sir? No, sir. No one of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edward's lip blow. This is just laid isn't on very simple. I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? This is obviously a child tomorrow, so don't bring me anything on the Sir, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir. They told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of. Give me your name. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, sir. Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. Right, Officer Meekins? Take your report. I need the good luck of that raise next month. <laughs> but, sir, I don't even know. Poor guy, it looks like he was up to another day that gave out brains and good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yes, sir. Guy, you can't go out. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was assisted from the same department as that patrol man just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. She seems to have finally calmed down at least. Okay. Is there any more. Actually, before I leave, is there any more achievements from this other than just like clearing it? Um. Thing that is, there's also this is the one that um I completely forgot an achievement I completely didn't realize um from that was I need to do in episode one in the first case the tutorial case where to answer me if they answer me if they as to the defendant is didn't realize that so yeah uh get every ladder versus step ladder composition. Uh, the is it a trilogy? Check out every lunchbox Angel has to offer. Okay, we can talk more to Angel. How do we do that? Though? Wait, let me look up how 
how to do that. What I have an email. So probably LinkedIn. That's it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's use an uh, badge. No, 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 not examine it. Uh, present. I just said I must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about well, tackling lunch in the lands? Pickles are pretty much box. Well, it's really crunchy. A box of pickles? Kind of sad lunch, if you ask me. Oh, wait, 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 let's look at this. Seventeen twelve. This is dated the day of the crime. The murder took place three minutes after Edward passed his power. The body was held up a, a couple extra red lights. You wouldn't have been caught up in this whole thing. Perhaps. It just goes to show you. you never know what will happen when you run a yellow light. Okay. There's nothing in the back here as far as I can tell. Yeah, there's nothing here, so we can go back. And we can go, where are we gonna go? Oh yeah. Police department. Police department. Here it is. Here it is second. Police department. Entrance. Also, I, I've heard that this, um, I, when I was looking through to check the um, achievement for that, I said that this case was extremely long. So what I might do is cut this into two. Wait, how many days are in this case? How many? days in this case um how many days in this attorney rise from the ashes um that's it Um, let's see. Because I expect it to be long, I just don't want it to be like too long. So maybe I'll like finish streaming, stop streaming at 12 or like the day. Maybe I'll finish streaming at midnight and then I'll finish this off later on. Um, wait, let's see. How long is it? Okay, this is from a Reddit read. Seven hours, fuck's sake. Eight, seven hours? We're definitely splitting this into two streams then. Um, and then we can finish this game. Finish, the, finish you know, the first game in the series. By next week, probably. Ooh, we'll find the head. I would have put these to so I found my prosecutor's office. It's me. I took it off 30 minutes with a taxi. The traffic was even that bad. Please don't have my car. I've only ever had a to from no fares next door, huh? Hold on, what's that? That's the blue badger. That's <laughs> present. Actually, the blue badger is. I think it's outside. Um. Right and Co offices. In the anime, but obviously it's outside. The police department. And that's disturbing. Why does it undulate like that? Wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police master. Well, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, it does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone has to be the blue badger? Oh, he knows me. Sure, he's running over here. Hey, pal. Why 
are you doing here? That's my line detector for you. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? What? Oh, well. <laughs> he, he's a silly guy. At least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our transformation. I love you now. I'm a very busy man, pal. You don't seem like a very busy man. And you're dancing in a blue badger. I'll give you one more little face, pal. You better not agree to defend the suspects in this game. Why not? Huh? Well, let's just start the chief, chief prosecutor has confessed to the She says she's some the detective to the prosecutor's office and she feels like But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes. Well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Uh, me. Why does this little girl so peeves at me? She's a relative of the suspects. She's lying of sky. Well, chief prosecutor's a little assistant. Just please investigate this carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you want to keep your voice down. You don't want to be overheard using the words like baked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. So, why are you doing here, Detective Jude? He works here. Me? Oh, well, nothing really. It kicks me out of criminal affairs. What? No! The gumshoe! What the, f what the fuck happened, gumshoe? Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? And then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. If you never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before, only the highest ranked people are being let into criminal affairs now. Ah, ah okay. The most ranking guy in there is our chief. Our detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. Nani? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? I don't know, I try to spend a day getting the badger dance part of the part. Um, isn't there anything else you could do for you? Do you believe this? I'm so certain in the investigation pal. An officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. The cowboy guy. Officer Marshall, now that I think about who Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. Patrolman in charge of the crime team. It's unheard of, pal. He's a patrolman? For fuck's sake. Let's fuck's sake, I'm gonna be able to double click now to present everything. Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey pal, this is a detective, so keep in mind. You don't need to speak out yet to turn into this. That's why I'm turning into you, you're a detective! Gumshoe! I thought you would not be pissed at this, but then it gets Gumshoe, so. It's more really like, you that get me into so much trouble is that you need Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. I'm gonna see. But it's gonna be Goodman. Sounds familiar. Now nah, my mistake. But then you work together with him in Whoa, oh, now I remember. Bruce Goodman. He's the victim. That's what I thought. Yeah. Hey, tell us more, Detective Gumshoe. Uh, that's the murder weapon. Fuck's sake, I'm gonna keep making mistakes. This mistake all throughout this case. I was in Mr. Edra's car, stabbed with Mr. Edra's knife, though. Why well, would you drive? Chief prosecutor decided to do such a thing. Wait, I didn't mean. I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um, someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edra. The kind of knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Yeah, it must be someone who has a grudge against Edra. Or Mr. Edra. What could have happened? I have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edra. I'm gonna keep doing this. Hey, that's it. That's the chief of prosecutors the one that Miss Edra got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal. I got an award, an award for diligence myself. I mean, to be fair, you just seem to be at like every crime scene. Ah, uh, congratulations. I think they made a joke about this in the anime, actually, in the anime specific episode. What was the anime only episode? I think, it, I think it was a train one. Uh, Turbo Express? I guess. Yes, this one. Turbo Express. You know what? You know what? I. I really enjoyed the Turbo Express one. Turbo Express was an enjoyable episode. Kind of a shame that it isn't in. This isn't a game case, but whatever. I was wondering, why is your water shield? Why is it broken? Oh, that's the reason. Um, 
Alright, so anyways, like, apparently he's fine. But I was proud of my satchel, you know what, you know what, even with all the naysayers and the prosecutors, I guess the naysayers must be because of the rumors. I want to keep making this mistake. My name was Cedric's cast, that was Cedric's nicer. What, what would drive me to keep us good to do such a thing? Well, I mean, I mean, sure, of course, when I saw it. It's not what's happening. Uh, shit. Does he say anything wrong with an hour tiny touch? It doesn't come, she's really crazy. She wants to be every time we meet out. Don't mind, show that police badge. Enough said. Shut up, I just, I was, I was shut about it. I think it meant I was tired about it. Even I had deep, but kind of a nice way. So even though I did that, I found that he took out, didn't I? Yeah. I would just show that to him. So. We can examine. Blue budget. And I was wondering about that. What? Did that answer blue budget? It's my masterpiece. You made this a technical tree? She threw it together some designs, and I just did. My thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. It's not switch, it, so it just dances, it dance, dance, dances until the battery dies. Poor Blue Badger, fades to dance until he drops. Blue Badger panel added to a whole record. Ooh. I always get excited to why I come to a police station. Why is that? It just feels like I've always jumped into a movie. Huh? You know, with all the police and criminals. Well, I don't know if this is all that exciting. Sure is, look at those two officers over there. I thought we were talking about the latest bus. Funny. I thought they were talking about the water. Probably. Probably. The judges in there uh, look pretty busy. Just imagine right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. So how the thought fails to excite me. Yeah. Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. I'm not sure he's And then he said, hey, you do, you do that. You'll see get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard when I, I cried. Guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. Alright, they make a good pair. Yeah. Mr. So White, do you know why patrol cars are painted black and white? No idea. Why? I think they're designed after a panda. A panda. Not that I have a sense of proof. It's just a theory. Do you mind asking me how you came up with that theory? So a scientific theory is more than just... You mean a hypothesis? She hasn't really proven anything. <sighs> Whatever. It was when I was on a school trip, I saw a patrol car and it came to me. But we had just been at the zoo scene. What about zebras? Or did they not have those at the zoo? Yeah, what about zebras? <laughs> the banner here is announcing the crime fighting campaign. I saw them. So I wonder if they'll be selling cookie brain sets. I think it's that kind of campaign. Our family wouldn't want to set that at home. They could be finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. I think most families can figure that out without the extra help. Can you show what's close to hanging up on a bulletin board then? Do you know this first? If you do now, you know, I'm one more. You know, Mr. Right? I, was, I always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked at the people in, the post in those posters. They're hardly even look human. She has a point. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh! We can talk to him more. We'll talk to him more about Bruce Gumpet and then the case. So this ID card belongs to the right zone. He's a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Gumpet. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground while we found it? Well, the city gunman should have been at should have been at the police department yesterday. There's an evidence transfer for the case he had handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? I guess I didn't mention that to me, that to you. But the detective thinks he was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but once that chief was this guy called in out there to pull the parking lot, and Lana's confessing as much. Unless, 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 here's what I'm saying, here's what I'm saying, 
Here's what I'm saying. So, Edgeworth was at the pro- uh, was at not the prosecutor's office, the police station, right till he received the King of Prosecutors Award. So, and obviously his car would have been there as well while he was there. So what if? Sort of. So what if? So what if the um the the detective Bruce Goodman if Goodman was well, if Goodman was killed like about half an hour before then because Nick said that it took like half an hour by taxi to get there. So what about so how about Goodman was killed at the t- police station during the ceremony where most of the detectives and you know prosecutors would have been in wherever they were holding whatever room they were holding the ceremony and then someone the actual killer put him because with these games with these cases we all know that our suspect is really innocent except for like one case which we'll get to later which is you know the Matt on guard case but whatever um anyway so why so goodman's body was put into um Edrith's trunk and Edrith had his knife in like the boot of his car for whatever reason oh wait in like his toolbox in his toolbox yeah yeah if he had just had it in his toolbox and um Edrith, you know drove home blissfully unaware that there's a body in his in the right in his boot and so he gets in and um and then the actual killer you know driving behind him because and Edgeworth doesn't think much of it because you know there's other prosecutors you know there's 12 floors to the prosecutor's office so, you know, there's bound to be other prosecutors, you know, driving behind him on their way to the prosecutor's office. So, and he's probably not going to know every single prosecutor. So, because, you know, he has a shit memory. So, anyways, um, I drove, drives into the parking lot, goes up to his office, went away. And then, you know, like, you know, once he steps into the lift, goes close, the actual kill opens up the boot. Tries to drag the body out, realizes that hey, the body's kind of heavy, and but so he puts the body back in Edra's trunk, and the and you I realize that he would have been seen the uh, and then the well, it's fell out. Oh, second theory, second theory that the that Goodman wasn't killed at in the parking lot itself. Or maybe was killed like maybe in the elevator you know the lift or maybe in one of the offices and the killer dragged him into the elevator and took him down to the parking lot and which i feel like the second i feel like the second one is more likely and then you know the actual killer and drags him in and puts him into the nearest car which presumably would be edruff's car and just as he's you know drag as you know Goodman is being dragged along, his ID and his wallet falls out of his pocket, and the actual killer some more notice because he's in a rush. Because he's in a rush, he puts the body into Edruff's um, car, and maybe the maybe Goodman died for another reason, or maybe he was knocked unconscious, and then when he was, you know. Maybe he was either knocked unconscious and then stabbed with um, Edgeworth's knife, or, or, um, or um, this person had simply stolen Edgeworth's knife, Edgeworth's knife, Edgeworth's knife before um, Edgeworth left to the to go to to the police station, or simply that this person was killed using a different like weapon Goodman was killed by it with a different weapon and simply just the the knife was smeared in blood i don't know about that but yeah he's in a tough spot again again yeah oh. so 
second time. Second time he's had some physique, some type of relation to the weapon. I was tied with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. Yeah, Hammond. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. He was innocent, is he, pal? There haven't always been, there, are, there have always been rumors about Mr. Edgeworth. Forging evidence, we can deal with witnesses, and that's an alibi, but there were always rumors. Listen, are, I'm pretty sure, like, the majority of prosecutors in this game have, like, some sort of corruption or. You know, some type of corruption, such as with Von Karma, you know, forging, you know, with Von Karma getting witnesses to not state shit, or just being downright idiots, like pain. <laughs> and since he was accused of murder, no one's was They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edwards has always had unusually strong ties to the apartment higher ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. You know, his latest case has died a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for chief, the chief prosecutor himself. What? By now the truth, but nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is buying the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case to the chief prosecutor? Remember the guy who is? What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West serial killer? No, Jake Marshall is just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment now, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show, 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 show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Let of introduction. The Chief of Crime Detective from True allows Barra to investigate the crime scene. Detective from Choose, let's have an introduction and it's a short effort. I'm surprised if this gets us anywhere. Sounds like you're supposed to be there and nobody will look at you twice, pal. That's what I do, anyways. Okay, let's go to the parking lot. February 27th, prosecutor's office underground parking lot. And look, looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be getting back to the shop. So it looks like I'll be stuck, like, stuck in this bit to the sunset. I'll see you in my dreams tonight, that baby. Oh, this is Angel. Oh, still here. Ah, uh, hello. Why is the surprise box? Didn't I mention? I've got my friend in criminal affairs. Welcome to the security guard. Hey, what's wrong, Papina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost in it, lost its head. Second time you've heard that, said that. Strange guy to point to be put in charge of a crime scene. Victim. And then I want to ask you. See the crime. I called Gray for men who've lost their dreams. I mean, I watch over them as they sleep. Dreaming of a desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case? So, uh, something to catch his interest? Something I want to ask you. Uh, okay, just the same thing. Yes. Let's present the let's have an introduction. Let's just look at this first. I can examine this. It looks like it's not like something we can start. Maybe it's a little something to go to. Let's see. Annual bonus twenty dollars. Um, I think a couple zeros are missing there. No, that sounds about right. At least in that detective case. Yeah, at least in the go case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. Or just don't be as hopeless as go to. Uh, present. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right into this routine. It's a lot of introduction to it too, don't you? May we investigate? Don't you? Ah, that old cow dog. She you in a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say it's not introduction, it's an invitation. Ah, I think you just missed it. Wait, why am I getting our defense hit? Your defense attorney. Your defense attorney, bruh. No worries, this proves it's from Detective Gumshoe, better than a blood test. I guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right, he's a patrolman, not a detective. Which reminds me, hey, wait a sec. Isn't that crime scene supposed to be handled by Detective O'Hara? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our contract. We are consensus. 
check out for the London dog. Let's have a hoot and danny. What's up? Police investigations are like something like Well, Mr. Ray, what do you say? I say all we need in this case. I think I'll have a introduction. Can we put discarded? Okay, we can talk to him now. Officer Marshall, can you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that. Hmm. Could you be a little more specific? Who is Goodman? He's a detective, right? Well, well, I knew a uh, feisty dog be there now. Still come true with stabbed hair at 515. The smiling did Madonna told me to go. Angel, nothing means to witness Miss Angel's star. Yeah. Let's up to the chest. A fine piece of work. This here is the autopsy. Yeah, finally. Death, uh, death due to loss of blood. One knife wound. That would have been an hour and a half of 4 p.m. That's all these specific seen as all most case report, autopsy reports. And before I had said like specific times. So maybe my theory was correct about maybe him being stabbed at like either in the police department or in like maybe in a different area to the parking lot. What's my sister involved the victim anyway? Funny you should mention that Bambina. Chief prosecutor Sky and Detective Company had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? Apparently, we to work together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. The man was a particular, wasn't a particularly gifted person. There's no reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. But my sister called the victim from the day of the murder, right? Here, to his parking lot. So it seems like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. I don't need any attention, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You called me out. Did she use for that in Texas? Uh, I was wondering if fancy she in Texas. It was two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh really? Now he tells me. But you're off a trauma now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? I think it's about you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. So why couldn't they have just had had gumshoe though? Because he's an actual detective and Marshall's just a patrolman. That's right though. Just because she was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. It's nothing but sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that edge of it. I don't That cow dog's been kicked. Ah, over this castle run. I don't know if he's just he doesn't realize it yet. Is he going to kick out the investigation? Bloody hell. Oh, that's... Look at this. Now we see Bruce Gumman, 36 now. Died... Day and time of death, February 21st, between 4, 4 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. So yeah, my theory was kind of, might be backed up here. About him maybe being killed at maybe the police station or um, somewhere else in the prosecutor's office. Cause of death, loss of blood from chest wound. Assessment, wound was cut by a 4.5 inch knife. A single stab wound was found. Okay. Prosecutor's bright red steam came in at a trot real slow. A trot? My mother tells me the murder of crime occurred from this later, so it seems the chief prosecutor was lying away, maybe waiting for our friends to ride in on his bright red horse. So he means the killer intended to use Edward's car all along. Alright, compadre, that's free. Huh? Don't do that if you're going to draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. Remind me to never visit Texas. Ah, tie shield. Seems very well. Looks like we could use you shield from the tile that time night, maybe. Officer Marshall, don't you have anything good to say about Mr. Edward? You don't like him, right? We get the point. You know, when I was a detective, I got one of these. Hmm, let me guess. Did it have a K for Kingdom Protectors on it? Hey, they could use the same shield over and over. That's sad, the prosecutor's office in criminal affairs are surprisingly cheap. Yep, you know, they got it cheaper with every person. Yeah, I tell you. What's up? Since I have a police passport, this is Detective Gummy inside you. Shows you up. Found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Good distance in this rat hole. If you want distance, get yourself to Texas. Texas. Texas, stop rumbling about fucking Texas. We get it, you're a Texan. 
is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town. With tiny little objects. What difference is a few yards may come by, Dre? This afternoon, tons of suspicious evidence. I think it's better. There's a better way to study than to hang out with the pros. Examination, I guess. This appears to be the car with the brake lights on. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Yep. Quite a luxury car, it just screams, I have money to spend. I mean, yeah. Yeah, prosecutors get the big books. Yep. Big book is to there, that's why I'm listening to the car. I can see the lunch line car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right, I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon car munching on a juicy looking fake. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it, and you'll be fine. Yeah, just don't think too much about it. This hope is it? Yep, they laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer got to jump in. I've got to be the only person I know that will come to that conclusion. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. So scientific about that. Should we check it out? Check it out. Right, let's check it out. It's going through it automatically. Fancy. My am going to go shop. What's wrong with it? Everyone has just different tastes, you know. Check out mine. It's a big closer shop. Those are hard to come by, you know. I see the series is as popular as ever with kids. <laughs> I'm just calling a kid despite her being like 16. Ooh. Ooh. This phone this phone's still on the readout screen. Readout? Um, Mr. Wright. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Could be you, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to surprise you, but even I know about things like can read out. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just you never know people from your generation or whatever. Like, let me check this phone out. Let's see the owner of this phone called us. Let's stop. Defense is it doesn't think first. You just push the button. Beep. Hey, that song! I know that! I was going over one over there. I'm ah, sorry. I see you, partner. You must have been down there that phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. This one is this, anyways. It was on the ground over there. Who is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. But the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Look, she was fixing it to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds of time to this. Who did she call? No idea, sorry, partner. Now I've got a question for you, partner. I found one just now, one of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, it, uh, it's kind of strange. But someone called me right as we picked up the other phone and wrong number. I think that line, they shoot you for that in Texas, partner. We get it! You're from Texas! Oh, I'm excited to go for the loan staff. Cell phone was added to the court record. Obviously, a lot of sky. Last call made at 5.18 on the day of the murder. Okay, we can examine more. Hey, block. This area is reserved for The next days are relegated to block B. And from the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'm all sick of block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. Not planning on be giving up my job that soon. Yeah, exactly. Do, 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 do. Uh, is that it? I think so. I think so. Banana Sky. So there's no connection between Detective Gunman and my sister? That's correct, but this code might have evidence against her. 
possibly to turn tomorrow, it's none other than it, as you can tell. I'm afraid this is fate instead, Bambina. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You're my sister. You are. There's something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about. I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gone to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prosecutor's office. Dry wind or ill will, someone's up something here, but who? Suspicions about my schedule have been flying around for nearly two years now. Far as evidence and arranged testimonies to me. He's unpeachable because he did whatever it took to him. Unpeachable, that is, until he met you. The rumors are just rumors, aren't they? Those are prosecutors you're talking about. Evidence is everything to meet them. If you follow the rumors about Edward's to that's all, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? I to say this, but it's your sister, Bambi. Chief Prosecutor Landstar. What? My sister? Yeah, what the fuck? I just couldn't whistle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets and some people load them with deals. What are you saying? Are you saying Edgeworth was making deals to the Charles? Where there's gunshots, there's bounty with bullets. That's what old time is used to say. There's a big old secret hanging around. Here somewhere everyone knows it. So I really to come, she was taking out the case. Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? That's a bit weird. Okay. What can we do? Present him with a cell phone? My sister's cell phone. The last time we used to use fire tea, right after the moon was gone. Maybe we should, she was cancelling her date for that night? Why did Lana make that call? Blobbing of things I don't know about. Now I don't want to see that you good. Uh, you're literally just blabbering about this earlier. Oh, we could present things to Emma. I see this. Ah, I noticed that defense does any type of things you want to show things. Behavior study of lawyers. Okay, what do we do now? Um, I don't think we can do anything else in here. Looks like it's just broken made of it, so I'll but I think it's only stuck a bite of it. It appears to be made out of bronze or plain. It's not worth much. It's $70 on the top. This girl's thing about pressing everything good at it. I wonder that, what that big mysterious big K means. Mysterious. We will already expect what that was it means. Okay. Oh, it does just quite tell us one of my strengths. It's nice to have it easy to use and easy on the It's probably so well I can see my reflection. I prefer not to. I to look at myself while I work. Examine. 
We already examined everything, so... We don't do shit here. Let's see. Um. It's nice to push again. What's wrong? You look like I teach you in front of Never mind, it's nothing. Okay. I'll just get it through day one. Mm. I'm going to try and get at least through day one investigation and then day two trial. And then we can do day two, then we can do maybe next week, day two um, investigations and then day three trial. Um, let's see. Oh, we have to examine more stuff in, in the car, I think. So, oh, it's an S, not a 5. 12 to. I can't put it out on the paper of that goodman. Maybe I fell in his pocket when he was killed. Also, what does it mean? Is it right? What am I supposed to know? No self confusion. She needs to go to a drift, not right. <laughs> I try to drift, wouldn't know what this means either. Unless it's like a room. Like, maybe a room in here in the prosecutor's office. Like, Floor six, seven S. <sighs> Good miss not added to the podcast. So how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. But now to see robot and not from fake to the so far. Sitting cool be okay. Well the only thing still bothering me is that Lana's confessing to crime. She said she did it, no problem. I can guarantee she's not a criminal. Oh by the way, Emma. Yeah? I know that song your phone plays with the rings. What? It's still Samurai thing song, isn't it? A popular TV show for kids. The one that ran earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. I found 18 to put the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry, can you tell, please tell me what you talked about? I... She hung the right away. I see... Someone updated in the court of records, so she called Emma. Okay. I detective this murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe I still don't know everything that went on there. Yeah, we don't know everything. I gotta take a little breather from reading all that, jeez. Save. On to... Is it Trout Farmer? What do I mean? From the Twitter, 9.34am, District Court, attending lobby number 2. How did the investigation go, Mr. Wright? Right. Frankly, there are still a lot of grey areas. Or rather, the whole thing is a one big grey area. Don't worry about me, no matter what they are. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? The defense is that she never believed her client. The defendant is called to the trial because they are suspects of one, suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Miss Guy, you, you remind me a lot of me. There's one slightly difference between you and her, and that is, you're not a defense attorney. I believe it's almost time for the trial. 
Good luck, Mr. Ray. Good luck to you. Come on, The first trial got off today, how to be. No one's gonna bail me out this time. Oh, shit. I'm alone enough, so I have to discover the truth all by myself. Oh, shit. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I've been with you the whole way. I mean, we have Emma. We have Emma. Okay, Joel. The main time for third. What? Ten. They have district court for number nine. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Yana. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Yana. Edwards. Ugh. Jeez. It's been two months, but I haven't been in a courtroom since his trial. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings, Mr. Wright. I will choose to clarify from Mr. Wright regardless of what those around him might say. The judgment needs to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, for your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit in the prosecutor's office law. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I still don't feel like confessing to anything. However, she will now pay her rashness for life. There's a witness to a crime. A professional witness. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss A. Angel Stars, this time. The Coffer Queen? Yeah, the Coffer Queen. <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere? Oh, oh, no, the caviar lunch, right? Oh, oh caviar. I've never eaten caviar before. The judge really is really opening it down. I'm for you. I'm for you. I'm a fiesta ball. Uh, thanks. Will the witness state her name? And you, sir. Do you have the fingerprint lunch box? It's two early lunch, your name and profession, please. Oh, you are. How does it taste? This is why everyone raves your caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. I thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. What the heck does pickled tapioca taste like? Like pickled tapioca. <laughs> name, profession. Now, me. Name is Angel Star. Don't go for it. Get it. Find myself running lunch on these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Miss Sandra? Yes! Very well, Miltonist. Please grab the incident to us. Prosecution will wait, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hurry it up! Very well, Mr. Edgel. I think I will use your poem. Please don't try the script of the crime. And as Mr. Edgel has said to her, oh, I am a professional. Uh, huh? What exactly does that mean? So two years ago, Miss Angel Styles, special, special investigator with the police. She was a first rate homicide detective. Ah, uh, what? Miss Styles, a detective? <laughs> Uh -huh. I know who you are. Have a queen angel star, you're in a long time, I'll see. Very well, you may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? Who the fuck are you? I might have the court attention. Court attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office, office, prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. Train divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's it. That's to keep businesses from taking up. Prosecutor spaces, yes. The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car. Shop. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and wanted to drive the body out. It's weird that it's weird that Edgeworth is like prosecuting this, seeing as though he has a relation to the crime, being it it was his car and his knife. That would raise some suspicion. Unfortunately for her, there was no witness and her arrest was made on the spot. And who wants to smell this witness? Why, it was me, Joanna. How can not floor plans headed to a court record? When did she didn't see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Joanna. Immediately after that, I ended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems we have a court in Well, Mr. Wright, uh, I can't. Agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some the poor losers are, losers are unwilling to accept the truth. So I can see to crush what little hope they ever made. If you can, then give them your worst star. Wait, are they talking about me? Jesus Christ, I'm really bully. Uh, Nick here. And we save just for our witness testimony. You guys know the drill. Somehow I always knew a day like this would go. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. 
when it says something captures my finely honed detective, detective, detective's intuition work. In the worst sense, I saw the chief prosecutor stand next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand, and she thrust the pointed tip of the knife into Detective Goodman, Goodman's chest. Would she not be able? She might not have been able to see it, see his face. Also, how would she know it was Goodman's? I doubt you would be able to see his face. So let's press. Hmm. Bringing that lunchbox to your boyfriend can't touch it. Hmm. As you can see, there's no room now. The key point of your testimony seems to be the point of the knife, point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into the So how does it feel to be utterly so utterly burnt? I am so dangerous. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. Make us examine the witness. Cross examination. Okay, I'm going to push that last thing she said. Why do you need to have some hand? You did see a razor left to straighten up. Hmm. If I could have if I did it by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, the stars test the cause. Sounds pretty funny. to me. What are we doing? Is my sister guilty? Let's just try to keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? That's me making Don't smile at that. Did she not? Did she not? Oh, is there a time? Because that could be a little contradictory. How did you know? I suspect you must consider his basic abhorrence of crime. Yeah, their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always need to try to do. Let's say she uninformed. When you use Julie Wilson. Julie Wilson. Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at the whim. One farmer. Killing off a detective that. Leave too much is merely an extension of that. We start doing something that's not that supposed to be just that fair. But I found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be laid off she was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than the world. That's what I am a pro, pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased, of course. Very well. We continue, Mr. Star. Okay. Hold it! This boyfriend. He's the. Not that boyfriend. This is the case that. That boyfriend? You have several? Yes. This boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? <laughs> the yet another boyfriend position is still open to applicants. I'll stick with this. Let's start. The judge has had to think before the claim. The guard room is in the lot in A block. It's up on the second level, but so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchbox used by the car? By car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So she's in B block when she witnessed the crime. Hold it! You said something, so you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? It felt like, how would you say, oh yes, it's like the feeling you get when you eat your pumpkin chop full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of detective intuition, wasn't the victim of the Bruce Goodman also detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. A young cheese? Hey, what a cheese? Hey, a tangy with experience on the streets. A green heart. <coughs> that must be harsh, <laughs> sharp as a tap. Well, the order of old cheese, I don't want cheese too much. Hey, it's your first trial, Emma. Chill. In any case, there, there, in any case, there, in the lot, I've also been stirring it from my mind. Hold it! Gotta keep pressing her. By the garish car, you mean. Mr. Edwards' car, yes. Mr. Edwards? Certainly, the knife for, with, with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edwards. And I'm going to check. Is this good thing? Because it's gonna keep. Annoying me. Okay. What's in it? Indeed, it wasn't. Yeah, why is Edward allowed here? And why is Emma allowed here? She's she's not even in 
college unit, whatever. She's not even in like uni to be. So this, hmm, what odd case it is. And the person you saw, you're sure you're the defendant. I saw her from no further, further than away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, what do you will understand. Even if you don't have any proof, we can always be Yep. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated that the fuck the fuck. I think you saw nothing more than words. There you go. You are a prize witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, okay? Oh, rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Well, I'm gonna tell you all you want. I'll fight you. Better. Crispy and nice crime to it on your inside. I'm gonna tell you all I fucking want, Angel. That, that was inspiring. I've never heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry for plagiarism. I am very relegated to the lowly post of Blood Lady, but my instincts are good. A photograph you took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. We don't know that blood on her coat is Goodman's blood, though. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging around your neck. Witness why am I only seeing this photograph just now? Didn't I show it to you? I can't think of think about it again. My best friend works in the photography division of Criminal Affairs. Well, this one is more certainly the Oh, that is unmistakably Lana's guy. So what was the defendant doing at the time? Uh, I'm gonna check this. Yeah, I weren't sure that blood was the victim, so. Tell me more about this than this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say that the blade was for about four inches long. So yeah, same with which is you know, along the lines of the autopsy report. Is that right, Mr. Jeff? It is your knife. So, um, ahem, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are well are by nature well versed in the location of a man's organs. No? I think everyone is kinda of knows like the general area of specific organs. Or is that just me? I don't know. I don't know. It's... I'm sure it's easier than buying an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't ask to my as to her ability to kill egg. I mean a person. Maybe perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a best and much faster if anyone was holding knife. What then? And to Oh wait, we did this. Um, this is my boyfriend. But she did say she was doing so. So the murder happened here. Wait, we can slide it. Oh yeah, that's probably not B. So, so was she? Was she gonna present this? Let's go. Objection! Yeah. Gloves. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, in a right hand. Objection. And you witness this. You 
you saw Miss Sky stab the fin victim. It's nice. As I've already said, yes. I swear on my finest salmon swirl lunch. I'm sure that it's a fine lunch, but isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. This is the photograph we took at the very moment of the crime. Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Ahem. Miss Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. That had to be the weakest objection ever, Edward. Yeah, you're still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Miss Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before, sorry. This was taken the moment. Objection! And how can you tell that? Blood spatter. Huh? So no doubt comes the stains on the chief prosecutor's head. But it's a black and white photograph. Ah, uh, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem. You, Mr. Wright, are you going to sit there and take the kind of view? Ah, uh, you got a better idea? Objection. Wait, that could take sort of when it's said in her head. Do you mean that she took the from a picture the moment she witnessed the crime? It seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. That's it? If you run out of lunch, you are the seconds. You don't like it, try out in the jumbo size lunch from the go. Good advice, I'm not sure I understand study it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Just in case style was called calculated mental robot. She told about pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Objection! How could you know that? Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photo. Well, those gloves. Such a good gloves made out of pen. Oh, most likely. Why would she have gloves on? Uh, if you not connected, you should not be wearing those gloves. I mean... If she was handling evidence, maybe she would have been, you know. So take that, Edgeworth. Because <laughs> these gloves do seem to tell tale of premeditation. Premeditation matter. Serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The man was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Hold it. Why, if she was. Just in the habit of wearing gloves, like driving gloves. Objection! The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves of the of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. <laughs> What's that though? Everything that was planned, it was a premeditated crime. Ugh. Impressive, I'm sorry they took you off the force and stuff. This is bad. She's got. Them thinking this is our plan. If she can prove this, I'll turn it over. I've got to take a robot to say this is a method. Um, okay. Okay, let's save it at this moment right here. to be wrong with this. Um, we could present a no. Objection! When this is not it though. No, no it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Somehow I always know that it's calm as well. Finally, hold the position at work. Otherwise, fence. I saw a chief prosecutor sign it, so it's going to be hard. Let us plan the rubber gloves to prove it. So let's say, let's see. If 
who was planned? Wouldn't she have stepped in like maybe multiple times? Maybe. I should to make it easy to set up for anything else. Let's say, let's see, so I always knew a day like this to call. Oh. There's a weird, a weird thing. Um. Wait, did it see? ID because that's how if like it had been premeditated then sure fuck sure you know, um got rid of the ID send it Cause sufficient reason to doubt the prosecution's claim. This court finds the defendant of Islam Sky. Guilty man? Jesus, I'm going to go immediately to my home. Find a child in the higher court within a month. Fuck's sake, man. Fuck's sake, man. Oh, present the knife. Okay. Knife. Objection! That makes sense. Do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That's knife. The knife. The knife that was in Miss Nathan's trunk. Indeed, it is. Lana Sky Plan Lana Sky Plan Matter. That's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like 
and that draws them closer to me. The golden thing can indicate planning. However, while she not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon. Oh, that just happened to be in the trunk of the car. If you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Order, order, order. Wait, now the tide's turning in our favor. Great job, Mr. Ryan. My sister's as good as free. Right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. What? Have you went deluding yourself into thinking that the tide had turned? Not for such a true job, but this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah, the prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that loose lady over there. The defendant Lana Sky murdered a detective with a knife. This is the only thing the prosecution needs to prove, nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clear now? We know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. Uh, I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Please, please tell us only what you saw, not what you saw. How dare you? My powers of deduction are not to be understood yet. Yeah, I didn't see what, I said, what she said before the judge interviewed. Really now? Angel's deduction. And we save again here. Last guy intended to murder instead of gunmen. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. The victim was summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound like, it does sound like a premeditate a lot like premeditation, doesn't it? So if I added a piece of that, does that mean I'm planning to kill the delivery boy? In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Crossing the information of the time, so we press it first. Shit. Hold it! You said that, but you haven't told us how you know. That's why I'm about to tell you, Rocky. I believe what you just said was me, I'm mere prelude to the story for the last time. And it's in his box again. Okay. Never went up to her. A storyteller is like pulling a bun out of the oven half baked. Something's half baked here, yeah, alright, it's you. Trying to confuse the defense witness, they're not very good on their feet. Now, why did you believe this? It's not scary. Think it's just a murder victim. Her actions speak to herself. And so. Hold it! You have no proof that Miss Guy called him now. You have no proof that she didn't. First, there was no record of a call made on the defendant, Miss Lana Sky's phone. She might have written him a letter. Come on, you could have tried public calling first at least. In any case, the victim came to the prosecutor's office where he was murdered. I'm sure you have a reason for that. that witness why you think he was suspect, suspect to some of the victim that day. Hold it! What kind of grudge? Well, I wouldn't know that. Of course you don't. That's because she didn't have a grudge. Okay. I have a lunchbox here. Lunchbox here. Now what's this? Like? How am I supposed to know? See? Looks like that. There's a lunchbox here, but we don't know what's inside. This life is like a lunchbox with pretzels. Okay, that's why my lunch was so salty. This judge isn't very good with metaphors. The suspects had a grudge against the judge. Can you tell us what's your, your basis for this? It's simple. Please. Can't you find fault with something like substance? This is right, no dumb set of sad set smells like citrus fruit. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Say again again. How many times did you use that in my chapter? We have to say chapter into a class of pieces, but we don't actually know. So what difference does it make if it is done? How come she's getting mad at me? Let's just say she stabbed him several times in the world. You know that? This is a murder case, people. It's right, you should speak up with the This guy turned out to be a shop ten pedestrian. Looks like he's mad at women like her. Turned on your belt as a detective. Burst out. The shot wick burns out the fastest. The fastest. It's a scientific fast. Fact. I wonder, wouldn't it depend on the size of the army? And more wax and even a really shot wick will burn longer. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. We present 
the autopsy. You see, she's starting to do it, but you could have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. Okay, my mouse is right. I'm afraid the mouse is going under our feet as we wait. We start. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this. We'll take a look. The autopsy report states that the fact that the death was due to the loss of blood from one stab wound. Aha! You're right. Good job, Mr. Jeff. Well, I'm keep my hair out, really. What was my objection? No one noticed. Well, when is you got this crime scene? Okay. You got the crime scene set right. Uh, okay. I always believed that no one could ever mistake types of blood. Now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So you're saying that you you mistook some people's blood? When she lifted a knife, I saw I thought I saw blood at her breast. Splattered blood from her victim. So I thought she must have at least stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw that you thought was blood testify. Red muscle looks like blood to me. That's how Gas's scene was. Wait. A red muffler? What the fuck is a muffler? What the fuck is a muffler? Like a scarf. But she wasn't wearing one, was she? Do you have a picture of her before the crime or not? I think she. So we present the photo then. Objection! She started abandoning. Objection! Not suited for detective work. What? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. Get yourself this photograph, huh? But oh, that that can't be. Only a professional blood lady could be so utterly clueless. Congratulations, Kurt, you finally found your true calling in life. Harsh words, but good. In the end, Mr. Dwarf prevails. What was my objective, Chop's mother? But but it was that scarf, no, not that, but something bright, really. Well, now, where were we? The witness had give, has given us an, ent an entertaining interlude for back to business. What? Very well, witness, continue testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of that testimony. It was the part, the part where your sister stabs the victim. This next testimony might just be the moment of truth. Yeah. Apprehending the suspect. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a, a partition off to her side. I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her and arrested her on the spot. Oh yes, when I arrested her, she meant she the muffler. That's what had confused me in that earlier in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made it made to escape, but against the angel's star resistance is futile. You're quite determined about the star, aren't you? I shrug at the snake I can't read that, but that's me, angel star. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, cobra is kind of don't bother me with details unless you want to know. No thanks. And South Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous state fights. Who isn't? Who the fuck isn't weak against President's state fights? Unless there are people who are like not weak to poison, but I don't know how. Chief Prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hand as I kicked over an oil drum. Very well, Mr. Wright. You constantly the chairman. Okay. The map, the parking lot. Objection! But wasn't she? I'll just keep pressing her. Hold it! So where is this position on the floor, friends? 
sure she means this wall next to her. That's right. There's a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite natural thing for a criminal to do. And what did you do then? Hold it! You see quickly, you were even close to the suspect, as I just said. I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Maybe I should press it for my details. Professor, press it for more details. I like to see this in the floor plans, just to be safe. The lunchtime car was... She's a visitor, thus she was part of the B block. So you would use the murder from here? That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes. Is that correct, Mr? Yes, that's right. But there's a chain link fence in front of you. I want to go right across. Amazing, the coffee queen looks like the FPC. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence, so she couldn't have gone to my sister that fast. The fence was about 9 feet high, too. So how did Miss Sky not get away? Hold it! She mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, I would have told you my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard her say was the word just that one word. So, what you heard wasn't a suspect talking to you, but to someone else. Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? She can't mean. I suppose, uh, her phone. Do you mean the cell, cell phone discovered at the crime scene? Yes, ultimately. Ultimately? My memory? It's like a salmon heading up to the sea. No, the car does not speak. Star. Chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. The wall, that's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently, it was out of order, and so she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing, whatever happened to good testifying? She, of course, add to this successfully. The things I do to please this rookie defense attorney. Wait, sorry, I'll hold it. Keep pressing it. Um, do you think you could restate your testimony for that? Uh -huh. I was going to ask the same thing. I only say this one time, so this is close enough for rockets. Okay. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim from behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone and on the wall, but was out of order. How did she fucking know that though? So she put her own cell phone out of the pocket. Out of her pocket. And during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence. And then, then when I boldly grabbed her arm, Chief Prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? Hold it! She's her. She made to escape. Could you be more specific? She pushed aside my hand and ran. And it was a ter terrible sight to see, like a dollop of lard on a pate of foie grass. And she even kicked over an oil drum at me. A oil drum? That doesn't make sense though, there's no drum line at the scene of the crime. But it's strange. What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run near for the other? Ah! The parking lot entrance. That's right! It doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the passage into the oil drums. Excellent. More mysteries. I wish you could solve a few before finding out more though. So Miss Sky tried to run. I'm sorry my sister is so suspicious. That's right. No, sorry, I am, but she didn't do it. You have to believe me. Oh I do believe me. Um Objection! Oh shit. Okay, we'll save her, we'll save her, we'll save. Again, we'll save again, here, guys. You didn't know. Uh, present. Objection! I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against me. Objection! Hi. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would 
Me and my knight in China, our prosecutor, you, who, thought, who together with the chief prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. Well, Mr. So if it's a contradiction with testimony, how do you explain this? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen to me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Um, let's look at the floor plans. You say you can witness the crimes from this point. However, is that true? You cannot possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If you read the USB block, you couldn't have seen this. What? Oh, 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 what is the meaning of this? It's simple, Yana. She's not coughing up lunch, she's coughing up lies. Objection! It's quite clear, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. Since it's actually what lie this witness is going to call. That's where the counter answer that. Because I can't answer this one. Witness lie about. When I saw it, Miss Guy tries to use the emergency phone. Emergency phone goes out of order. What is significant? I would expect nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it. Pointless to lie, see. But say the witness did actually see Miss Guy using the emergency phone, it would mean Miss Star, Miss Star, I keep, I don't know why, but I keep on her Sky says Star. Witness the crime from the Objection! Objection! That's a pointless Objection! My life pointless, at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever words, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness what, where she, when she saw that all testimonies was heard? So now, uh, in one direction, the place where I missed out with crime was like from he, the security room. Take that! Indeed, the security room is the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second floor so you can see the entire lot. Hmm, she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there, but why there? There's many other places where she could have seen the phone. No, in this case, Your Honor, the witness not being able not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in the The only place where she could have seen the crime and the black back at the partition is here. Remember the you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security room, yes? Well, Mr. How many years have I been, been getting the better of men? Just think that the table could turn. Today, a man has got the better of men. No. Yep. Yep. Order, order, witness. What have you done? You used to be a detective, you should know that. I'm not turning. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make the justice prevail. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Sky? Mr. Wright, this didn't strike you as odd. Why did Miss Star lie? This makes sense, huh? She could have just said she saw the crime from the security station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly, this photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. The still stands. It still stands. I disagree, Mr. Edward. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Her me? Yes, Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Mr. Star witness the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from B block. It must make a vital difference, but what but what what would change? Save it again. Uh, what is crime? Why the angle of which she said I'm going to set the judge. You know what you mean? Since the passage is should have solved a more for you to listen to the problem. What do you want to be considered? Luckily, we just say. So we can leave the same. I'll either I um let's see. I'll probably finish this finish this 
trial or uh, like finish this part of the trial this part of the game or uh, i'll continue on to the next part and then we can depending on how long it takes me to finish this uh, she changes the distance between her and objection how can dance this mr right but look at the four plans it's quite clear this is between the scene of the crime and the scene of the guard station is about 30 feet i don't see how Objection! See, what she saw is not incredible. It the time it would take her to reach the scene of crime. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime first. Get to that station. Now, how long did it take you to reach the scene of crime where you arrested Miss Sky? Well, witness you, yes. You wanted the squid, right? Quality of my lunches have gone from low to inedible. I was bringing a PG, PB, and J lunch from a, fra a fresh boysenberry jam to my backpack. Boysenberry to my backpack. It was in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass wall station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked, so I couldn't open it. So she had to go all the way around. Which would have taken her longer, and um, and um, Lana would have had time to escape. That's why I had to go through the visitors' park. That's why detour. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to this so Five minutes. Yeah, that would have given uh, Lana the time to escape. And that this changes. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know yeah, I've done some of evidence, I swear it. I swear I'm my finest plastic spot. You have a pint and the spot is a wonderful invention. I agree. Do you have to have some caviar lunch? Absolutely. Uh oh, he's dead inside. It's like you have to do something. Do you have any evidence to stop this? Objection! Five minutes between the witness scene of the murder and the rest of the body. You could have made, you could make past in that amount of time. If you like it, I'll do it. There were lunchboxes that tie past it, and that's okay. How many blank? Isn't that strange? Strange? If you were a criminal, what would you do with the five minutes? Well, I guess I'd do the same thing. Don't get the idea, I didn't kill anyone. We have the instincts of a killer, you would run. But this time was different. The sky dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had a no criminal would act this way, it's inconceivable. Well then, if it seems we've come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blank in the testimony. Miss Hedroff is the next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on the account of her professional history. We did it! We screwed that can shot, Mr. Wright. That was too close. I'm afraid that the cough up queen has been dethroned, and with that, court is adjourned. Hold it! What? Mr. Joffrey, you want to see right? That's the one she tried to first off with me. I'm afraid not to take the defense team's lot, uh, leftovers. Anything else that's the third? I might be able to see you. I have to see the evidence. What it was that? It's another one of her trip lunchboxes. My apologies. But we have no no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. This is a jumbo. Woohoo, jumbo debit! I'll be fair as to what this is termination. I allow one more testimony. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch. The motto says you won't be disappointed in what she's going to pull out of her lunch this time. Okay, we've got to save again, guys. We've got to save again. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I was looking at the crime scene, and now, so the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring this up? Stones of blood were found in the shoe. One was of course for the victim's and the other time matched the, that of the defendant, Miss Lara Sky. The shoe's printed, it's flaws, the size of synth evidence. No, it's fucking not. What are those blood found on that shoe? Try lunch then, file your lunch and decide to save evidence. I'm starting to think she wasn't a detective at all. 
Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple, as I've already said, I don't trust you with the evidence, Mr. Trust. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood test found. I've had three, I have three boyfriends in the United In any case, you can accept it as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence. Well, number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, it shows some legal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Ryan? I seem so. I just show you some brain, not so fast as I was. Don't forget, I used to be detected, as I mentioned previously. This show has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the, by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce evidence in the of no, uh oh, is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. I don't think it's looking, looking pretty slow. You could at least study some evidence, law. Really? Prosecution's complaint notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence, law. However, it seems that you have yet another part of this witness. I need to ensure that the guilty of the uh, victim's shoe and the court record. Well, Mr. Wright, you have me quite a examiner witness. Okay. Size of evidence. I'm gonna actually save right now just because we have one penalty left. Hold it! Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. It means everything. Then why didn't you just tell the truth? That made me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsify evidence, arrange testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you find monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This, when the suspect is admitting what she did. She did it. But false testimony is the most despicable act. Despicable crime of all the stuff. Let's just get this over with. Hold it! And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime? I attained the chief prosecutor and the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an ill trained pooch, you snuck off with the shoe. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. The shoe was my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket? There's more than just more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. I'm happy for you and your lunchbox back, really. In any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of crime. Now tell us what you did next. Hold it! So you brought it to the forensic department? Forensic department? If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analysed by a forensic expert. Go away with a little cube because she's the detective. The she does not appear to have blood stains on it. Well, the man was stabbed after all, and that blood belonged to the detective. The detective Goldman. I said there were two types of blood found on the shoe. Hold it! You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the defendant with a blood test. You plan to know everything about blood tests. Speak up. Uh, well. Blood comes to four types A, B, O, and A, B. However, that's over a blood test where a murder was committed in cold blood. That's just a good speech. Right. Actually, we can differentiate between millions of types of all the blood out there, which means that we can more or less not narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Also, I get that. That's very specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gone to any test results, but they say there's very little doubt it could be. Anyone's bottle of Miss Lana's guys. Mm. So, for the suspect's blood was found in the victim's shoe, that ties her directly to the death of the next woman. I'm afraid I was going to say that. Hold it! I can't let this evidence go through our fight. You ordered the pepper fish bus, right? Some like a hot Mr. Right. Some like a kind of cheese enough to. In, she's in enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. Mr. Wright, do you or don't you have a problem with the shoe? this is critical. Is there a problem with the victim's shoe? There's a problem. I'm not imagining anything. There's a critical problem with this. And there's a clear contradiction. That blaming your eyes, you're still eating with it. 
I'd give you a present right now, but you couldn't. So did he do? Let's see what he's doing today. What else can he do today about the video? It's probably an evidence. Ooh. 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 Your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Indeed, it's going to be a blood on the bottom of my shoe. Make some division with stuff like a knife. Put that on your shoe. You stabbed in the chest, wasn't it? It's in the crime photo. Oh, wait, that makes sense. I take that. No, there's a blood. I was a bit some shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? We don't want any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime. Aha! As you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. I'm actually going to check how many thing is. Uh, how many days are in this crime? How many days are from this? Let me see. We've done prologue. Okay. Okay, we've done first day investigation. I'm just seeing how many days are in this because it's taken a while. Uh, first day investigation. Second day trial farmer. Trial latter. Um, investigation. Day three trial farmer. Trial latter. Investigation. This is a long one. Day four? Trial first session. Okay, I'm going to have to do this in multiple parts then. So I think maybe if we do finish off this trial farmer and then we can do trial latter and then um um the investigate another investigation next week no traces of any such topic contradicts your claim about objection it only shows part of the floor so there could have been bullied. objection then where are they miss edward because seen and found Order, order, order. Well, witness? What? Her, I, uh, if I was right, but it's true that there's, that the lack of footprint is But then, let's ask why there was that footprint. Oh, that's true. There has to be a reason why there was that footprint. Think, Mr. Right, think. Hey, I don't know why it's not there. There's been a kind of contradiction to what? I see you. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than a different play for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she said there's one vital hint to the truth in the testimony. What are we talking about? Think about what you'll talk to us about apprehending the respect. The two prosecutors tried to resist by her efforts in vain. She notes my hand aside to get over an orange or she. She's beautiful but deadly. I predated this one. I left the room. Wrong. I thought that was a strange thing for the normally cool headed chief to do. Okay, now witness. Allow me to ask a very question. Our room was it empty? Oh, that. I'm not sure. I like your attitude. Though apparently, you're 
not the slowest conveyor belt in the Spongebob factory. Witness well. Why else the airdrop was empty? The airdrop was kicked over there by the chief prosecutor was brewing with water. Water? What's that mean? So I was wants to know the real reason. Know the reason she knocked over the real reason? Aha, you don't mean... Yes, the suspect's not over the oil drum for any reason and all the reason you want. So the rest of bloodstains that would become evidence of her. Or not. Oh, she confessed to it, so... That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the victim's shoes ties her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drums to erase the to outside. Why, there's, that's a prosecutor's speciality at erasing evidence. It reminds me. Miss Guy's hand, right hand, was hurt. And she said she'd cut herself when she stabbed him. And so my sister's blood got on his shoe. Well, I see no reason to belong this round. Mr. Wright, do something, please. What? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But, you know, there's no further, no need for the further debate. The verdict's are enough. Very well. What interest dies on the prosecution side? She could have been lying about the water. Let's go find the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Hold it. Little girl, what did you just say? Hurt me? Did you just say that I injured all the stars on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you are. You saying my sister hid evidence of erasing your bloody footprints. Well, I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are. Demanding the second helping. I have a lunchbox. A lunchbox called evidence. Wait, when it's not time you had some Objection! The time for deliberations is passed. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. You first want to scare the couple. Look at this. A photograph? I had it just in case anyone had the doubt to suggest that the white she didn't belong to the victim. Hmm, I see no one the error in this evidence. Mr. Wright, wait, look at the asphalt, asphalt in this photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court line. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed. The water, I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I couldn't help at all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case in the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, well, I'm not. Don't be so quick to throw in a towel. Get yourself off, off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until it's bit around. This is the last piece of evidence. Very well, this time I'd like to declare verdicts for good. Objection! Objection seem much longer this time to take in effect. You're on our way. Why is it with you people? Can I hand down my verdicts of peace anymore? Whatever it is. No, you can't. Then it will be too late. Look at this photograph. The last one's in the It's it over until we give each piece of evidence proper consideration. So, right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? Yeah. I think later. Yeah, there's a problem, right? I'm wrong. I've got to go ahead with this. I suppose since we've come this well, we should give every clear and fair shape. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem in the photograph. Um, um, what's the problem with this photograph? Oh, I'm too tired for this. So, I may end after this part. Depends when the to be continued thing is. So let's see. Uh... Wait, there's something here. Take that! Oh, that's what Lana was mumbling about. What's this? Here. What's this? Something poking out of the car's muffler. Wait, just a moment, Mr. Edward. Your Honor. You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler, scarf, or of any kind in this photo. Muffler is also a part of a car, uh, on a car, a motorcycle. Or just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see, and I see. 
What's that suspicious looking cloth sticking out of the car? Hmm. So what if there is something sticking out of the car? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing, absolutely not. Objection! I'm sorry, Mr. Albert, it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is not going to be the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's tell her what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you think the piece of cloth in this is related to the case. Take that! Set the phone. Mr. We call your testimony to the call. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she was mentioned the muffler. That's what uh, had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Ah, uh, yeah. Could it be that the muffler you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? That means this piece of cloth is vital as well. Yep. Well, it seems we'll have to send the proceedings suspend. I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth. If we have any question or answer in here, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene and inspect it at once and bring me the cloth. The verdict will wait until after we see all the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Oh, that was close, but we made it at least for now. This court will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's quite extra. He's still hungry. To be continued. I am very tired, so. What I think I'll do is. Um, what I think I'll do. Um, let's escape this and let's check. Has it? Shower latter, yeah. It's safe. So, what I think I'll do is entry. Uh, yeah. And then we can continue this maybe over the next few weeks. Maybe we can do some on Wednesday. Um, maybe, but yeah, I am. Um, tired i know i usually go to like one but as i said very tired um so yeah um is there anyone to read i want to read um no okay so yeah anyways guys um hope you enjoyed this stream i'll try and get this up to youtube but yeah, i'm very very tired um Maybe I'll try and get some done, some of this done on maybe, maybe Wednesday or maybe I'll do Haunt the House on a Wednesday. No, I think I'll do Haunt the House on Sunday maybe. So yeah, and then stream schedule for next week. Not streaming Thursday, probably not. Yeah, probably not streaming Thursday because I have a driving lesson then and I'll probably go and do going straight to my mum's after that. Um. So, and then... Monday will be sticky business. That just got a new update with some new stuff like new colours and new stuff sets of stickers. Um Tuesday might be the Sims. Maybe we'll have to see about that. Um Wednesday maybe Ace Attorney, if not Minecraft. And then Friday will be Ace Attorney again. I just wanna get this case done kind of. And then Sunday after that will be um will be maybe haunt the house or maybe minecraft i'm not sure yet but anyways guys i hope you've enjoyed this stream and i shall see you guys all on sunday bye bye